Fire questions in Southern California are more complex than they seem, and project scientists have much more to investigate. Ultimately, they hope to integrate all of these wildfire factors into what is known as a decision model. We're building quite a complex model um, which will, is tremendously exciting in, in scientific terms. Um, uh, so it's, it's groundbreaking stuff. The model will give resource managers a tool to understand which combination of strategies, from fuel treatments to land use planning to urban landscaping, will have the greatest potential for managing wildfire risk in Southern California. Yeah, it's established. It's going to be coming down like canyon. Yeah, we got numbers flying into the structure to the left. Any action or just keep Southern California experiences the greatest fire losses of any area in the U.S. and perhaps even the world. In the future, how can we balance fire hazard? and reducing the risk of fire hazards for humans and at the same time maintain natural wildlands and for their intrinsic value as resources. Like earthquakes, Southern California wildfires can't be prevented, but the risks they pose to our communities and landscapes can be managed. So it's time to re-examine how we look at these problems to find out what is effective so that dollars we put in to prevent wildfire losses actually has a benefit, that we actually see a reduction in those losses in the future. The really important part about having rigorous scientific data to back up the recommendations that we make is because they are counterintuitive, because they run contrary to the way work has been done for 30 years. Led by the USGS, the team of scientists hopes to add to our understanding of wildfire factors. The resulting research can assist managers and planners in finding solutions to reduce the risk of home and habitat loss and help Southern California truly learn to live with fire. He is going to come down that canyon. Got fire coming your way.